we're here um, installing the, the exhibition Caribbean Crossroads of the World, which is a large exhibition um, that has 100, over 180 works from throughout the Caribbean um, that trace a time period from the Haitian Revolution to the present. And um, we were interested in showing this exhibition in our inaugural year at the museum to really highlight um, our commitment and interest in um, uh, the Caribbean as a site of research and as a, um, a site of uh, study of the very diverse cultural traditions and histories of, of the region um, as a way to sort of honor, you know, so, so many uh, of our community, of our public have ties to the Caribbean. We wanted to sort of start um, this, this year or have a big part of our programming devoted to this exhibition um, that honors the legacies of, of Caribbean art and culture for the last several centuries. We're currently in the process of installing these two very interesting um, portraits um, that are from um, the period in which um, uh, King Henri Christophe uh, was the, the king of uh, Haiti, or he proclaimed himself the king of Haiti. And what we're looking at is the, a portrait of him as king and a portrait of his son. And both were produced by a British painter, Richard Evans, um, in the 18th century and around 1816. Often um, in historic paintings of this period, you know, blacks are more shown as kind of the, the noble savage or it, at best, you know, or in very stereotypical negative imagery or racist imagery. And here we see two really royal portraits with all the kind of um, the, the tropes and the, the posturing and the, the element, the, the dress and the, the jewels and the crowns of royalty. It's important to, to stress um, the importance of the, the Haitian Revolution and, and why that's really sort of the starting point of this exhibition because it, it really, what it was the, you know, the second um, independent nation in the Americas after the United States. And it was also the first black independent re republic, you know, nation. And, and it's important, um, it, I mean, it's an amazing history and it's often, you know, forgotten or misinterpreted that um, Haiti, it, the, the story of the Haitian Revolution is, you know, uh, slaves uprising and, you know, seeking their own freedom and taking over the country and then making it into an independent black nation. I think that the Haitian Revolution, you know, like, is one of the most, Im I mean, I wouldn't say important, but it's like it was a very telling uh, a moment in history of this new world because it was the first time that, you know, like a conflagration, you know, like a, a war was, you know, like declared between, you know, like, and which had like all the elements of, of contemporaneity, you understand, in the sense that, you know, like it was, you know, like color, it was color, color was involved, race was involved, uh, a politics was involved, you know, like and, and north-south discussions were involved. So it was a very important moment, you know, like in, in the history of contemporary uh, uh, history. And so all of this history is in these paintings and, um, and they show um, just two very dignified, um, you know, figures and, and trace this really unusual history um, of, of Haiti in this case. In that show, I'm represented by one painting and it's, uh, it re I mean, it's a portrait of Toussaint Louverture. I mean, it, it, nobody really knows uh, what it looked like because they never really bothered, you know, like to, to, I mean, you know, like to paint him and stuff like that. So it's almost my rendition of Mr. Toussaint Louverture. He became, you know, like truly a, a, a figure, you know, like a historical figure that I've been very fascinated, very much fascinated by. I've even decided to turn him into a chocolate bar so that everybody knows him around this world. <laughs> because I think he's, he's that important for, you know, like for the period, for what he stood for, for, you know, like, uh, uh, I mean, the human rights and the rights of men, all of these things. I mean, if, because he is, you know, like, I mean, as they said back then in France, the first of black men, because he really defended, you know, like the cause of the blacks internationally and um, he met his doom trying to defend it because Napoleon refused to acknowledge the fact that the blacks could lead you know or black, blacks should, could be free.